Hey guys, Bill from Calvin Percussion with another weekly shop update. Uh, a few things to talk about today. Um, uh, from having a really, really slow winter, we are all of a sudden exploding with uh, with all kinds of projects, which is which is awesome. Uh, but before I get to that, uh, there's a couple of things. One, you if you're watching these videos, you've probably heard me talk about the Save by Music Foundation in Uganda. Um, this is a really amazing organization that is doing important work in literally saving the lives of children in Uganda by giving them giving them instruments to play, teaching them how to play, you know, giving them an ensemble to play in. And um, a lot of the kids from this program are going on to, to having actual professional musical careers. Um, I know that they've got they play several uh, several of their students in the the they have like police band the way that we have military bands in this country, they seem to have like like police bands. Um, there's like a real professional full-time gig, and and a few other uh, a few other places where they they put you know kids literally taking kids that that have nothing ha are, are homeless and, and um, uh, you know teach them to play that these, and these kids get good enough that some of them are, are finding career paths out of it. It's really an amazing organiza organization. Um, so we uh, we fix up a bunch of stuff and put together a, a big box of like parts, you know, lugs and snares and. Uh, sticks and hoops and, and all kinds of stuff uh, to repair drums that they already have. We sent them a couple of marching snares um, and a few other things. So uh, all that went to Kansas City, where my, my buddy uh, Joe Seamer is um, is collecting uh, the instruments we sent, as well as like a ton of other band instruments, and creating all this stuff up to get shipped to Uganda. But shipping to Uganda costs a fortune. So uh, he's got to go fund me page to help cover the, some of the expenses of, of shipping because it's wildly expensive. So um, if you've got a little bit of money that you want to put towards a charity and you want it to be something that's like actually doing like real serious work that's changing the lives of people, uh, especially children, this is a great thing to do. So I'm going to put the link um, in the comments or video description or somewhere, obvious. Um, uh, the next thing is on June 8th, if you live in Boston or near Boston, on June 8th at... Um, Blissful Monkey Yoga Studio in Jamaica Plain. Um, there's going to be a drum master class. Blissful Monkey, it's a yoga studio, but they also have like a variety of music programs and, and music classes and stuff there. It's pretty cool. Uh, so Mike Dawson from Modern Drummer uh, is going to be doing a drum clinic at Blissful Monkey Yoga Studio in JP on June 8th. Um, and I'll put a link to, to sign up for that too in the comments or description, um, depending on what format you're watching this on. Um, and uh, that'll be really cool. If you don't know Mike Dawson, he's uh, he's one of the um, editors, I think, at Modern Drummer. Super great guy. Total badass drummer. Um, so uh, anyway, that's definitely worth checking out. I have to go. I have a wedding gig that day. I'm super bummed I can't be there. But I am going to supply a drum set for Mike to use during uh, during the program, so you should check that out. Uh, on to stuff that we're working on. So first, um, this is going to be a case for um, one of my college professors, uh, Dave Pope. It's a case for, he's got this Udu that's freaking huge. Um, so this is on its way to becoming a case for that. It's a uh, it's, uh, Carillion Birch uh, veneer that we, we put on here, and it's, um, it's almost done being constructed, and then we're going to foam it out, uh, put some kind of closure on it. I haven't quite decided yet, but it's going to be really cool. Uh, so that's coming along. And then the next thing is uh, these are two stave drums made out of reclaimed wood. Uh, a buddy of mine is doing uh, a, a total renovation of one of the old brownstones on Com and Clarendon in Boston, uh, in the Back Bay. And uh, so this is reclaimed lumber. That building was built in like 1881, I think. Um, so it's, it's pine, but it's not like the pine that you find at the hardware store now. It's, it's, a, it's a much, much better material. So um, if you are interested in a snare drum made out of reclaimed lumber from a, from a 19th century Boston brownstone, uh, there's a lot more wood where these came from. Uh, one of these is from my buddy uh, Barry Kimmel. The other one is currently unclaimed. Uh, so if you want it or if you're interested in uh, a different size on custom, let me know. Uh, we got plenty more wood. Uh, what else? Uh, this is... Um, uh, going to be a kid's drum set for uh, my buddy Jimmy, who's my mechanic, actually. Uh, he's got, he's got uh, two twin boys who are, are adorable, uh, aspiring drummers. So uh, He bought one of those, like, Mendini or whatever kits on Amazon. That, I mean, that don't, don't, don't buy those. Like, 
his kids are not that rough, and they destroyed it in like two months. The so things are garbage. Um, so he, he hit me up, and he's like, hey, uh, can, I, can I get something made, like, not terribly expensive, but, like, nice enough that it's, like, real instruments, like, you know, these kids can use for a while. So that's what that's going to be. Also, Jimmy is, like, the car whisperer. If you are, if you're in Boston, uh, Twins Auto, uh, in Dorchester, near Fields Corner on, uh, Dot Ave, dude is awesome. He can fix anything. Uh, next up, uh, here, these are seven... Going to be Tyco drums for, I think, Plainfield High School outside of Chicago. Uh, they hit me up for, for this coming year's March Man show. They, want, they wanted a bunch of Tyco drums in three sizes. Uh, now, I know that Tyco drums are, they're stave shells. They're, they're uh, generally absolute works of, of art from a woodworking standpoint, even the inside of the drums. Um, but, uh, you know, to, to suit their budget and the needs, I mean, these are going to just get used outside of the Marshman field. We kind of immediately abandoned the idea of stave shells. Uh, we wanted something where there was no risk of cracking, basically, no matter what. Uh, so we were going with a, a much more conventional drum construction, laminated maple shells. Um, and so there's three sizes. Um, so we have three that are about snare size, three that are about four ton size, and one that is freaking huge. Uh, I know that there are, are names for each of these, and I can't remember them off, remember them off the top of my head. It's, uh, I've always thought Tyco drums were really cool. I've never tried to build anything like that, um, but I've, I've, I've just started really delving into kind of educating myself about uh, the history of these instruments, the way that they're traditionally made, um, and the kinds of sounds that you get out of them. You know, it's going to be for marching bands, so we're not going to use natural skin heads, uh, but I want to try and get as close as possible to the, the sound of, of traditional Japanese taiko drums, so it's, it's been a really interesting kind of education for me as I'm, as I'm beginning to make these drums. Um, so, uh, and, and yeah, this is, is 30 inches deep, 24 inch drum, which is, uh, it's always kind of a trick to fabricate these, these monster shells, but, um, but it's also really satisfying, so I'm pretty stoked about, about this thing. Uh, I'm going to try and build um, one of those kind of very traditional style uh, like kind of X frames for it. Uh, I think it'll be really cool. Back here we've got three new rope tension snare drums. There's two 16 by 16s. Those are, as soon as they're done, those are going to go to Steve Weiss Music. Um, and uh, you could purchase them there. Uh, and then one is uh, 18 by 16, 18 deep, 16 diameter. That one is unclaimed. Uh, left to my own devices, it's going to get red hoops and get set up in a fairly traditional way. I haven't decided if it's going to get a throw off or a more period appropriate strainer. I'm still on the fence about that, but um, that will be if uh, if anybody wants uh, 18 by 16 rope drum, you can claim this thing now, and I'll set it up with whatever kind of hoops, whatever anything you want. Uh, otherwise, it's uh, going to wind up being a, a pretty traditional kind of colonial looking thing, um, a natural maple shell, red hoops, uh, and it'll be ready for uh, the musters that we go to. We'll definitely be at Deep River in Westbrook. I don't know what else we're going to do. Uh, but it'll be there and, um, and ready to go if you want it. I'll probably put, I'll probably put kangaroo heads on it. I haven't really decided yet. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's what I've got on the table today. There's also uh, another drum set in the works uh, for, for my buddy Devin um, and uh, a few other things that are, are coming, coming down the pipeline. So um, I'll get back to work, but thank you for checking this out, and I will catch you next time.